Okay, so we're just going to be checking the sound just to see that everything is all right. And then we're going to just start. So let's just check. Perfect, it's working. So now we're going to be starting with this. Okay, so uh, the note that I'm going to be talking to you about today is a really simple note. It's uh, also really interesting. So we're going to be... Um, we're just going to be talking about the reverse curve node, okay? So um, let's just, uh, we can use this cube uh, and we can just add a curve. Uh, maybe we can add an arc, okay? So now our curve is added. So uh, the only thing that we need to do is basically add the reverse curve node. So reverse curve, we can find it here and um, well anything seems to be going on with this you see like there is no there is nothing that that it's going on uh, well one might think that but if we just add um, an input and that input is a boolean we can just connect it here and nothing's going on yet so um, we can just start by uh, well the problem is that if uh, we're reversing this curve we're not going to be able to see anything but if we use uh, another primitive maybe uh, this Bessier segment and we connect it and we just uh, move some things well first of all like uh, the X, uh, let's just move this point, okay, so, um, okay, and now we can just move also in C, perfect, so, uh, now that we have this, it's just like, uh, we're gonna be in we're going to be trying to see what happens if we use the reverse curve. So uh, let's just try to check the manual to see what is going on. Okay. So uh, it says that the reverse curve node swaps the start and end of the splines. Okay. The shape of the splines is not changed. So uh, what this is saying is that basically, and we will have to go to the control points to see what is going on here. Can you see that, uh, for example, here, the number one is um, minus 5.9, 2.7, and 3. And then the other, the zero is zero, zero, zero. But if we just um, deactivate this, this is like minus 0 0.5, 0 0.5, 0, 0, and 2. Like it, um, it changes because uh, what it's going on here is that like the position of these uh, handles, it's changing, you know? So it is um, moving to the, to, the, to the other side, okay? You can see it most of all, like, uh, here is gonna be like the information in the handle left um, of, this, of this side, you see? Then it goes back uh, here, you see? And then the other data, goes here so the shape does I mean the shape of the curve it doesn't changes but um, like the position of the um, of its control points is the one that it's gonna be changing there is also something really interesting that you can do with this um, node and is that you can basically uh, and we're gonna see it in the in the manual so uh, well here's a tip and that's the part that, that I'm talking to you about uh, it says that when you when use on the profile input of the curve to mesh node, this node will flip the normals of the resulting mesh. So uh, let's just try to play a little bit with that. So um, let's just add a um, curve to mesh um, node. We can find it here. There you go. And uh, it's saying that if we use it like in the um, in the profile curve, okay. So let's just try with that. So if we uh, use this curve, for example, here, you know, this is what you're going to get. Okay. 
this is where you're gonna get. But if we add the reverse curve node, right? If we add it like um, here and then connect this here, um, we can see. Well, we cannot see it yet, but um, let's just let's just try by adding a material, okay? Because we're gonna be able to see it better when we add a material. So, um, and let's just um, yeah, let's just add a material. So shift A, uh, material, material, set material, and we click here. Okay, and let's just add this material. And let's just go to the shading. And I don't know, like we can um, try to create a wave in this uh, in this material. So shift A, um, texture, and let's just uh, wave texture. Okay. And um, let's just connect this here. Uh, okay, now we have our wave. And I don't know, we can try to um, scale it up maybe a little bit uh, just to be able to see the whole picture. And I think that'll be it. Um, so now let's just try to um, uh, let's just try to see it in the in the material uh, in the material way. So um, let's just try with the um, Okay, so if we just try to, um, if we just try to click this boolean, well, it's it's really small the change, but um, let's just try to, let's just maybe we can try with another, um, with another curve, 
So let's just try, for example, with a um, with an arc. Okay, let's just put this here and this here. Okay, uh, what is important is that um, this boolean is going to be like activating and deactivating the the way this um, this works. Okay, so. Uh, I don't know if you can see like the little movements. We can like go back to shading and maybe um, add it like a little bit of distortion to, to see if we can like um, see better the result. And um, let's just uh, move the face offset a little bit and the detail. I don't know. Okay, and let's just go back to geometry nodes. Now we have this, and um, as you can see, like if you move this value, you know, um, you're gonna be like this profile curve. It's gonna be, it's gonna be changing depending on, um, on the. I mean, you can deactivate or activate the. The, um, the curve so um, this is just gonna be like changing basically and uh, that'll be it and that's it that's what this node does so um, thank you